A Swedish scientist has invented a substance that enables the growth of large forests in as little as one month. This invention has significantly decreased the demand for forest products from Canada. The decreased demand has lowered net exports and shifted the aggregate demand function to the left. The Canadian economy is now in a recessionary output gap, with national income lower than potential and the unemployment rate rising. Automatic fiscal stabilizers, such as the step tax system, will help to close the output gap. The decrease in national income also means a decrease in tax. Since the ratio of tax to each dollar earned decreases, consumption will increase, shifting the AD curve back to the right. The market will also respond to this output gap with excess supply of factors putting pressure on wages and other factor prices to fall. The decrease in factor prices will shift the aggregate supply curve to the right to close the output gap. Unfortunately, due to sticky wages, which is the tendency for wages to fall much slower in a recessionary gap than they rise in an inflationary gap, the market response is too slow. If the recessionary gap was small, it would be beneficial to let the market respond on its own. However, this recessionary gap is too large, so the government will have to enable discretionary fiscal policy to bring the Canadian economy back to macroeconomic equilibrium. Let's look at the actions the government can take and see what their effect will be on the output gap. A decrease in government spending. While it may seem like a logical step that in a recession everyone should tighten up and reduce spending, in fact this is not helpful and will actually deepen the recession. If government spending decreases, it will push the AD curve further to the left. We also need to consider the paradox of thrift. If consumers have little faith in the state of the economy, which would be the result of the government decreasing its spending, they will save more. This decreases consumption and pushes the AD cur curve to the left and further into recession. The government must enable expansionary fiscal policy by either increasing government spending, reducing taxes, or both. An increase in government spending will directly push AD the AD curve back to the right to close the output gap. Reducing taxes will indirectly push the AD curve back to the right by increasing consumption. This discretionary fiscal policy will result in no net change to wages or prices, but an increase in debt, which is a good trade-off in place of a lengthy recession.